Good evening everyone. I hope everyone is fine at home. Today we will start with the history of HTML in continuation with the introduction and the features of HTML. So let us start with the history of HTML. Let's start with the topic, the history of HTML. In 1945, an engineer, Werner Bush, wrote the article, As We May Think, published in the Atlantic, in which he discussed about a system that is similar to HTML, which has the concept of linking web pages, but unfortunately he died before the web existed. But the article written by him led to the foundation for Tim Berners-Lee. Now, something about Sir Tim Berners-Lee. He was a physicist and a scientist. He is known as the main developer of HTML. He, along with his colleagues at CERN, which is an international scientific organization in Geneva, Switzerland, developed a system to use and share documents. Sir Tim Berners-Lee introduced a simple protocol to view and transfer the web pages that contain the hypertext, that is the link to other elements and web pages, from one place to other, that is known as HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Afterwards, Tim introduced HTML, which is a language used for writing web pages. He used the concepts introduced in SGML, that is a standard generalized markup language, as a base for HTML. Therefore, HTML is even considered as parent language of HTML. In the year 1991, Berners-Lee designed the first HTML version called HTML Tags for public use. Now we will go through the different versions of HTML that has been launched in different years, the version and the year. HTML in the year 1991, HTML Plus in 93, HTML 2.0 in 1995, HTML 3.2 in the year 1997, HTML 4.01 in the year 1999, XHTML, that is extensible HTML in the year 2000 and the HTML5 2014. Students, we have come across to the term hypertext. It was launched by Ted Nelson in the year 1965. It is a highlighted text included in a web page that links web pages to other web pages. It is not similar to other plain text that we type in word processor files. It is a non-linear and enables viewers to move from one location to another. It is always underlined, blue in color and changes into a handshape when we click over it. That's all for today. Thank you.